Hey guys, what is up? We are back with more 2D tutorials. So, uh, this episode we're going to do some GUI and it might actually be pretty long. So I think this might end up being split into like two or three different parts, probably only two. So yeah, uh, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is, I don't know if any of you noticed, but when we're moving our player, the color of his hat, of, of his hair changes it's really strange so if you want to fix that it's pretty simple I mean it's just trying to compress the colors uh, so if you go to your uh, player s sprite or entities sprite and change the format from compressed to 16 bits and hit apply and it'll just change the colors to the exact colors we made when we were making the texture and I won't do those strange color changes there you go as as shown anyways so we have this kind of game going so far and uh, it's looking alright <coughs> but we need to allow the player to view how much of each item he has and also to view uh, actually to choose which item he wants so Therefore, let's get started with this. Let's go to our scripts folder. Let's open up character. Actually, block manager. <coughs> and at the bottom here, we want to create a new function. Function on GUI. And this is where all of the GUI for our script goes. So let's first make a couple of variables up here. One var um var is on which is a boolean and just false oh equals false shit all right done equals false i'm not sure why it appears as if my yeah, it said it just skipped like a million frames. One moment, sorry. Excuse me for that. I'm just going to set the processing priority for my broadcasting software to high. That way it doesn't skip frames. Okay, so basically, I don't know if you if you noticed, but I just made a new variable here is on, which is a boolean, and it is equal to false by default down here on GUI. So one thing we want to do is in update we want to go if input dot get key down down key code dot and then this is the point where you choose which key you want the player to press in order to open the drop down menu. So I'm gonna go with E. Actually I'm gonna go with R. I normally go with R. We're going to go ahead and say is on is equal to exclamation mark is on. So if is on is is false, it'll turn it to true. And if it's false, it'll turn it to, sorry, and if it's true, it'll turn it to false. So basically, like toggles is on when you press the R button. Okay, let's just make is, our, is on private because we don't need to know that. Just make it cleaner. Okay, so now function on GUI. If is on, we'll do gui dot dot box rect um hmm. zero 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 zero. Let's just do that for now. Okay, so gui.boxrect. So the origin position. Okay, first we've got our origin position on the x axis, then on the y axis, and we've got our x size, then our y size. So let's make the origin position about 10 and 10. And let's go with. 
going to be 250. And I guess we'll just call it blocks. Oh. Okay. And now we'll go GUI. GUI dot button. Oh, actually, we'll go if GUI dot. Oh my gosh. Dot button. I just keep messing up my typing. I'm sorry. Rect 10. This one will be 60. Actually, let's not do 10, 10. Let's just do 0, 0. 0, 60. Uh, 150. 25. And this one will say... Um... Actually, we'll not. We won't do 150. We'll just do 200 here, and we'll do dirt uh, plus dirt amount. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then we'll just go here, equal space. And then the curly braces, and we'll say if that happens, then something will happen. Okay. And then if GUI dot button rect zero. Oh, this needs to be changed from sixty to fifty. And here from fifty to a hundred. Two hundred twenty-five. Grass equals space plus grass amount. So if you press this, then of course, dirt uh, selected block <coughs> selected block equals dirt block, and then here selected block equals grass block, and that should work. Let's just test that out there for a moment. There you go. And you can place dirt now. But the thing is, you're still able to place blocks when... Okay, sorry, give me one moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. Uh, that will actually be cut out, so it won't be a, a delay. It'll just be annoying a bit. Anyways, uh, when you click the dirt thing, it does waste a dirt block there. If you have dirt selected, of course. So we need to make sure that you can only place and destroy blocks if the menu is closed. So let's take this whole chunk here, if mouse button down. Where does this end? Okay, so select here. Go up all the way to here. Enter. And let's make a new if statement. If is on equals false. Or, of course, you could do if exclamation mark is on. And put open and curly brace there. And go down to the end here and add another closing curly brace so that they match. Okay, so now. If I press the menu button, I won't be able to build anything. I'll be able to select my block. And then when I close, I could place and destroy, of course. I'm just going to collect everything here. And then I can choose grass. No, I'm not allowed to place it until I close the menu. And then I can finally place grass blocks. I, I'm not sure if I said glass. If I did, I didn't mean to. Okay, so that's good. Now, what we want to do is we want to make a better... Okay, actually, there's one thing that I noticed. Uh, there's, a, there's a space between these two. We don't want that space, so easily adjust that, changing 100 to 75. 
and that will change that to a normal kind of look. Okay, so now let's say the, the position on the uh, y-axis, which is 75 here and 50 here, let's change that to mathf.lerp, and then let's go from negative 50 to its position, which is 50, in about a half of a second. And that should work, I suppose. It does. Okay, so let's change this one. Mathf.lerp negative 50 75 0.5 Oh, I did 0, 0.5 0 0.5 That would have caused an error. There we are. So now if we open the menu Hmm problem. Why are they doing that? This makes no sense. What if I went from I just want to see what would happen if I did this. Yeah, they both group down there. Wherever they are. I don't know why. Hmm. That's a bit strange. Okay, there is another way we can do this. Oh, sorry. Should that stay at 100? What did I just change? I don't know what the hell I just did. Whatever. <laughs> uh, oops. So it should be back to normal. Of course it is not. What is wrong? Oh, what the hell? still have mathf.lerp. Oh, that's what I've done. <laughs> I'm completely oblivious to what I've done. Let's just fix that up. There we are. My bad. And now it should be back to normal. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I don't know what I've done there. I suppose we can leave our menu like that for now. Uh, if you want simply comment we can do a more uh, advanced menu using sprites where they fall in and then you like we we make all the designs in Photoshop and everything but this is the basic idea with uh, this kind of going here and then of course we can also make if this happens then GUI dot box Correct. Uh, not zero, rather two hundred fifty twenty-five twenty-five with nothing in it, just like that. And we'll copy this down here, and we'll do seventy-five. And now what it'll do is it'll put a little knob thing if that one is selected. So if I click here, no, it doesn't actually, unfortunately. However, what we can do instead, let's just get rid of this, to, to do the same function. Sorry, this one's a bit of an unorganized episode. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, if... Uh, selected block 
equals dirt block. Then you can do this whole GUI thing here. Except this one needs to be 75. And now this will work properly. There you go. There's a little notifier there telling you which one you have selected. Okay, that's cool. Now I just want to extend the blocks menu here from 200 to 225. Oh, <laughs> that's huge. 225, and that should kind of overlap the little block thingy there oops there you go it does okay that's cool so now when we add more uh, options we can even create like a scrolling menu if there's a bunch of blocks and whatnot so now that that's out of the way this will be part a the basic kind of version now that that's out of the way we can go on to the advanced one so if you're looking forward that's just go ahead and continue the next episode if this is fine then you could skip the next episode uh, I do recommend you use advanced though I'll put Photoshop here because the advanced one looks nicer and it's always better to learn to do that. Always better to learn.